cleaned this up yet, and there's a little bit of an issue, but the uh, the full art cloud card, it's a little uh, warped. Oh, okay. No, that's so right. Just... Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I haven't sleep this guy up yet. Mm -hmm. I'm actually uh, impressed by how sturdy these cards are compared to other TCGs, so... Oh man, the card stock is so good. Yeah. I've got a Yu-Gi-Oh background and the yep. cards printed on Yu-Gi-Oh is it's it's literally toilet paper. Yes. <laughs> uh yeah, have you uh touched Metazoo cards yet? Uh, uh I have. It's a little bit it feels a little bit like uh cheap playing cards. Yeah, it's even worse than Yu-Gi-Oh, I think. <laughs> yeah. All but right. I don't play though. I don't play Metazoo. Okay, okay. You're ready. All right. So you know how, um, you know, drawing first draw and mulligan rules work, right? Yes, yeah. I've yet to need to mulligan. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think it goes under, and then I don't shuffle. I just draw five cards. Yeah. Yep. And you could, you could uh, rearrange it however you want as well. Oh, okay. Good to know. Oh, sorry. Am I not yeah. sharing my video? Goodness. Uh oh no no you're not I see the cat though I like I like the cat, the cat. <laughs> all right yeah so I ended up drawing my cards already um I'm not going to mulligan yeah I think I'll keep this as well awesome okay um so I guess I'll I'll go first then right. yep. I'll draw one card and uh, definitely let me know if I make you know any play mistakes or etiquette mistakes but. Um, oh yeah i know the basics at this point yeah i'll help you out okay um, i think we'll go for a i'll play restrictor backup mm -hmm. nice. um i will pay a uh this is the first time playing with this deck um let's see I'll oh, pay good. with a dragon and a warrior. Gotcha. And, and you get to search out something, right? Yes. So, yeah, I can search for one uh, job. Zviet. I <laughs> say that. Zviet. Um, Zviet. We, we don't talk about that game. Oh, okay. Good to know. We, we don't talk about that game. <laughs> okay. Um, so I don't think I have many. Let me just double check though. Mm. Yeah, I think it's just that one. We've, uh, so let's see. I'll search. I think I had to reveal. So that is a Azul. Nice. I'll shuffle and add it to my hand. And then. Um, Sounds good. Then I think that'll be it for my turn. All right, sounds good. Solid turn. All right, draw two. Okay, uh, easy turn for me here, I think. Uh, I'm going to play a minor, and I'm going to pitch a Marlene and a Tifa to do so. Uh, minor's ability allows me to get back a backup from the break zone, so I'm just going to get back a Marlene that I pitched. Okay. And I'll uh, I'll pass it to you. Five in hand. Sure. Okay. So I'll undull, and then I'll draw two. Hmm. Um, so let's do, play, uh, Azul. I will, uh, dull one and then pay with two cards for five. So... 
nothing happens here. So forward, and I will end my turn. Sorry, I'm just taking a look real quick. I'm just reminding myself what Azul does. Oh. Or that particular one, at least. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. So it has an effect if it were to be put from the field into the break zone. I could choose a lightning monster mm -hmm. of cost three or less in my break zone and then place onto the field. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Do you have any monsters in your uh, break zone by any chance? Um... I have one. Oh, the dragon, right? That's right. Okay. All right. Did it pass? Yep. Okay. Uh, what's Azul's power? 8,000. 8,000. Okay. Uh, yes, we could do one of these. No, I'm just gonna... Okay. I'm gonna play Bahamut. And I'll pitch a soldier... And the Marlene. So, uh, Bahamut, uh, it's choose one forward, deal it 10,000 damage, and then once that happens, Bahamut deals me a point of damage. And, uh, if I EX burst, it, it, it doesn't, the burst doesn't happen. Okay. So I'm gonna choose to deal 10k to Azul. Sure. All right. All right. I take a point of damage. Yep. Um, so that does trigger its uh, effect. So yep. I'll bring one lightning monster, monster, this dragon, mm -hmm. onto the field. Um, and uh, no effects here. So where do monsters go in, um, you know, in this area? Is this, uh, you could just, just right put here them or? anywhere. Yeah, you could where the forwards go. Really. Okay. Just uh, making sure. you could. Uh, if it becomes a forward, you could just like slap them in the middle. If it's if it's not a forward yet, you could just like put them up onto the side. Oh, okay. All right. So I'll kind of put it right here. Yeah. That bad boy's on the field. Uh, I'm gonna develop here as well. Just gonna play an evoker. And I'll pass it to you. Three cards in hand. Sure. Undall. I'll draw. One, two. Um. Okay, so I will discard Ramza and pitch the one for Dice Darge. Dice Darg. Um, what does he do? So when, when he is put from the field into the break zone, choose one active forward. Opponent controls, deal at 7,000 damage. Gotcha. And let's see. Okay. So done. I'll let my turn there. Okay. Three cards in hand. Hey. Hmm.
Let's do this then. Uh, I am going to pay three to play a Vincent. Okay. Um, he does have an auto ability, but I'm not going to use it because it doesn't meet the conditions. Basically, sure. uh, when he enters the field, I can put one backup in that I control into the break zone. And if I do that, I get to deal 8,000 damage to a dull forward, but you don't mm -hmm. have any dull forwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. He does have a special ability that, that breaks a backup of three or more, uh, okay. but it's like, I would, I would need to have like Vincent in my hand to do so and I have to pay some more stuff. Right. Okay. Uh, but I'm just using him as a body right now. He's a 7,000 sure. power. Okay. No haste. I'm just going to pass it to you. Sounds good. Going to undull and draw two. So I'm not sure exactly how this one would work. Uh, monsters, I can play at any okay. time, right? Uh, uh, you can play monsters uh, in uh, main phase one and main phase two, like the phases where you're allowed to play okay. characters. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But you can't play monsters during uh, attack phase okay. or your opponent's turn. Makes sense. Yep. Um, I will. Doll one to pay for a uh, yield man. Okay. So yield man says put yield man into the break zone, and then choose one forward. It gains first strike until the end of the turn. Draw one card. So is, is that an effect that happens right away, like a summon, or it stays on the field and I can do that anytime? So, uh, in order to use that ability, in order to pay for it, you have to put it into the break zone. So uh, it just stays on the field. You play it. It's a character. Mm -hmm. It's sticky. Stays on the field. Yeah. And then whenever you want to use that ability, you just break it in order to do so. Okay. Uh, the weird thing with monsters is uh, it doesn't have summoning sickness like forwards and backups do. Mm -hmm. So you can actually use that the moment you play it. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I guess that, that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. And yours has 7,000, right? 7,000. So first strike wouldn't really do anything yeah. for you unless you have something to boost... Uh, that forward's yeah. power. Okay. Um, well, I guess this might help. Um, I'll discard uh, two cards. So I'll play Black Waltz 3. So this one says, when it enters the field, choose one forward. It loses 2,000 power until the end of the turn. So I will choose your forward to lose 2,000. He's a 5k now. Yep. And then uh, when this is put from field into the break zone, choose one forward that loses 2,000 power until the end of the turn. So now I can play you a man, right? Yes. And I will give my forward uh, dice dark uh, first strike, and then I get to draw a card. Nice. So draw a card. Okay, and I will move to attack. Attack phase is good. All right, we'll attack with dice charge for 6,000 okay. with first strike. I am taking that damage. Sure. All right, no burst. Sorry, let me just fix my camera here. All right, there we go. Is it better? Nope. Wait, let me just... Yeah. Oh. No, it could. Yeah, it takes some time to refocus, <laughs> I think. But um, I don't know if you have a card see. that you could put up to it. Yeah. Come on. Is that? Oh no, it's kind of. No. <laughs> it's all good. It's what all if good. I just do that. Okay. <laughs> all right. I I took the damage. Sure. Oh, it, it no, it's just good. Yeah. Damage. Okay, and I end my turn there. All right. Uh, do do do. Okay. 
And then what does this do? Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then that does that. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'm just going to start throwing down forwards, I think. Uh, how big is Black Waltz uh, 3? Six. With his power? Six. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then... Okay, gotcha. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do that. I'll uh, move to attack phase. Sure. Okay. And I will be swinging with my Vincent. Just a 7,000... Okay. Um, I will take that damage. Okay, we've got a Magus. Okay. Nice. I am on the board. Uh, I'll move to main two. Sure. Gonna pay three to play a Jesse. Uh, and then I will be paying one more to play. Uh, wedge and I'm able to pay one for wedge because I have a job avalanche operative. Okay. So he's reduced by two. Um. So uh, their abilities happen when they party attack, but I haven't party attack yet. But I'll I'll let you know. Uh, like what they do. So Jesse, uh, when she party attacks with uh. Or actually, when two or more job avalanche operative forwards that I control form a party and, and party attacks, mm -hmm. I can do either I can either play a cloud from my hand onto the field, or I could search for a cloud in my deck. Oh, okay. Well, cool. so that's what that's what Jesse does. What Wedge does is, um, if two op two avalanche operatives party attack, I get to choose one dull forward. Oh, actually. Oh, I could just choose one dull character of cost four or more that you control, and I get to break it. But it's mm -hmm. four or more, so right. whatever you have on the field right now, it's going to be safe. Okay. That happens. Sounds good. Uh, So I'm going to pass it to you. Just sure. got some bodies on the board. Yep, nice. I'm going to undull, and then we'll draw two. One, two. And question about this dragon. Could I use the mm -hmm. effects of this monster on your turn as well? Yes, you can. You can okay. treat it like an instant. Okay, great. Good to know. Yeah. Okay. Basically, um... any like abilities or activated abilities that you kind of have to pay for, that's like on a forward or on a backup, you can use on like your opponent's turn. You oh, can basically okay. treat it like an instant. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Not sure I knew that. Okay. So... I think I'll uh, pay a total of five for lightning. It has haste, okay. and when it enters the field, um, or when it attacks, I choose one forward opponent controls. And if I control a category eight character other than lightning, I dull it and discard sure. one card named lightning. And then I can remove lightning from the game. And then play lightning onto the field dulled. Um, so oh, okay. when it enters the field or attacks, so it enters the field, if I control a category 8, which I... Uh, do I? 13, right? Category 13. Oh, right? sorry. Am I misreading it? 13. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have a category 13. Um, does it say category 13 other than lightning? Or just yeah, category other 13 than, in general? Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yep, gotcha. so unfortunately that doesn't trigger. So, anyway, okay. we got haste on that. Mm -hmm. Um, And what are the costs of yours? Uh, so... The, co actually, uh, the cost... Actually, there are all my... All my forwards are cost uh, three. Oh, okay, cool. So, Dragon would be able to break everything. Yeah. If, if you wanted to. Sure. Um... Good to know. Yeah, I can't afford it right now. <laughs> I don't think. Okay. Uh, well, actually, you you can if you just pitch one uh, uh thunder card. F so that'll count hand. as the one thunder. 
Yeah. Okay. That would count as like the one thunder yeah. and that the one um uh what should we call it? Colorless? Yeah, color okay, yeah. Uh yeah, I guess I will do that. Um so I'll spend the one from hand and then this goes into the break zone. And mm -hmm. I will choose they're both seven thousand. Uh, uh yeah, all three of these guys are seven thousand. Yeah. Uh, your left most like, one. Um, oh, go match. ahead. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, so, okay, yeah, wedge, yeah, 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 because you want to protect that lightning, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, I will move to the combat phase, and mm -hmm. I will, uh, should I know? Yeah, I'll, I'll attack with lightning as haste. Gotcha. And, uh, it doesn't trigger because I don't have a category thirteen. Right. Uh just just thinking it over a bit. But I think I'm gonna take the damage here. Sure. Alright, no burst. Okay. And I'll end my turn. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Let's just develop here. Let's not get too crazy. <laughs> I'm going to pay one to play Barrett. Uh, I'm able to do so because I already have a job avalanche for it. Okay. So he's reduced by two. Nice. Uh, so Eric does have an ability. Um, I can choose to break one forward that you control, but I can only do so if another one of my job avalanche forwards was broken in the, in the same turn, was moved from the field into the break oh, zone okay. in that same turn. That's the only time I can use that ability. And in order to do so, Barrett has to be active and to pay for it, I need to dull him to do so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, other than that, I'm just thinking. Uh, I'm actually just gonna pass my turn. Sure. We'll undull these and draw two. I will pay with Magus to play Ram Ramza. And when a forward that control is put from field into the break zone, activate Ramza. Um, okay. I think I will move to combat. And let's see here. Let's attack with Dice Darge for 6,000. Gotcha. Does anything happen with Dice Darge if he yeah. moves from, mm -hmm. if he gets broken? Yep. So I could choose an active forward opponent controls and deal it 7,000 damage. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's take that one. Sure. Okay. Nothing. And... So I'm trying to... Get my wedge in <laughs> to focus. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, yeah. I will then also... So your highest attack right now is all 7,000 still, right? Yeah, they're all yeah. 7,000. Um, we'll attack with lightning for 7,000. Gotcha. Uh, I will decide to block with the uh, Vincent. Sure. Okay. Um... All right, so that's uh, the break zone, and then I will end my turn there. Gotcha. Okay. One, two. 
Sorry, my husband is uh, snoring in the background, so if you hear that. <laughs> oh, I don't even hear it. Okay. I do not even hear it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's move to combat. Okay. Let me just read my card to make sure uh, it does what it what I think it does. Mm -hmm. Two or more. Okay. All right. Foreign party attack. Select. The, okay. Gotcha. All right. So I will party attack with uh, Jesse and Barrett. Uh, that that does trigger Jesse's ability uh, to play a, to either search for a cloud or to play a cloud from my hand onto the field. Okay. Um, and I will play a cloud from my hand onto the field. Okay. Sounds good. Um. So when Cloud enters the field, if I control a job avalanche for it, I get to choose two abilities. Um, I can either deal 10k damage to a forward. I can put a job avalanche operative from my break zone of cost less or four onto the field, or I could give all the forwards I have haste. I think I'm just going to okay. deal the 10k and the, uh, the other... I think I'm dealing the 10k to the black bolts. Sure. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um, no. Let's see here. So this does have an effect where it says from field to break, choose one forward. It loses 2,000 power until the end of the turn. Um. So I'll. I'll was that the eight eight thousand? I'll have that lose. Yes. Well, if that just came in. You would. Would you be able to attack with that? Uh, not if I give it haste. But I yeah. just to tell you up front, yep. like I'm not giving it. I'm not giving these. Okay. Uh, um, so you could do, do one of these guys if you want attacking. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So I'll do that, I guess. But it doesn't really matter. <laughs> right? It wouldn't really make a difference. Um. You never know. But sure, I'll go ahead and make it lose two thousand. Right? Okay. 2, sure. So. Hold on. To yeah, Jesse or Barrett? Power. Oh, we'll do Barrett. We'll do Barrett? Okay. So, uh, so 7 plus 5, so that's 12,000 power coming your way. Yep. Um, you can actually block with Ramza and kill the Barrett if, if you wanted to. Yeah, because I have to apply that damage. Um, I still take a damage though, right? No, you don't. Once oh. you declare block, once you declare block, no damage is taken. Okay. You could also right. do some so shenanigans. You could matter. be like, yeah. You okay. could be like, I declare block, and the forward doesn't actually have to be out onto the field for it to block. You could just be like, oh, I'll declare block with Cloud, and I'll save Cloud by somehow putting him back to my hand. You know? I see. And it, it'll still be considered blocked. Okay, okay. Uh, not the same with attacks, though. If you declare an attack with a forward, it's still got to be out there in order to be doing its attack. Okay. You know? Makes sense. Yep. All right. So I uh, block with the Ramza, the five, and then I will okay. um, apply it to the Barret. Uh, Sounds good. Alrighty. Oh, um, Wedge was played this turn, so Wedge has Summoning Sickness. Uh, so I can't attack with these two. Uh, I'm just gonna actually just pass it to you. Sure. Four in hand. Okay. Drawing two. Um, let's see. I'm going to pay three to play uh, King of Burmesia. Burmesia. And is it back up? And it has a burst. When King of Bermesia enters the field, you may search for one job dragoon or card named dragoon and add it to my hand. Uh, sure. I'll go ahead and search that. Okay, we're adding a dragoon to my hand. Nice. Um, and, uh, let's see. Mm. 
I think I will move to combat mm -hmm. and attack with dice starch. Gotcha. For 6,000. Okay. So basically, whatever I block with is going to die. Um, I will block with the witch then. Sure. Okay. So and you'll choose to deal, deal the damage. Correct. Yeah. All right. Makes sense. <laughs> In my turn. Okay. Two. Okay. Uh, we'll move right into combat. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna swing with the cloud first. Sure. I'll take one damage. That is a dice charge. Gotcha. And I'll also swing with Jesse. Sure. We'll take damage. It's a ram rama, and it has Ooh. a burst. So I can okay. select one of the following actions. Choose one forward of cost two or less. Break it. I don't think there's anything to choose. Um, choose mm -hmm. one monster of cost two or less. No monsters. So nothing uh, happens, okay. right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's oh, it's the one drop rams. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I'm gonna move to main two. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna develop here. Gonna pitch a red to play a backup. Uh, doesn't do anything when he enters the field. So he's just there for color. Okay. I'll pass it to you. Great. Well, on dull, we'll draw two. Um, hmm. Oh, Let's... my the backup I just played is essentially a, a combat trick. But I can only use him uh, when he's active. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let's pitch total five to play Magus. Gotcha. Um, when it enters the field, What's... choose one forward, deal it seven thousand damage. Mm -hmm. Um, if I control five or more jobs, standard unit, deal it. If I control five, interesting. That's a lot. Um, is that five? It is. Okay. So that's fine. Um, I will deal 7,000 to... Is that Jesse? Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, sorry. And that's a... Okay. And I'll end my turn. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, let's move to attack phase. Uh, clouds coming in again. Sure. Take one damage. A star soldier. So my four oh, damage. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm gonna move to main two. Sure. And I'll just pay three to play a fix. Um, when two. Job Avalanche Operative Forwards, uh, Party Attack. I get to draw one card, and all forwards in that particular party that's attacking can't be broken until the end of the month. Okay. Uh, okay. And I'll pass to you, five in hand. Sure. We'll undull and draw two. Okay. Alright, um, let's do, uh, two, three, four, five, we'll get Azul out. Nice. Um, so I, in case you don't remember, uh, when it's put from field to break zone, I choose one lightning monster of cost three or less in my break zone, and I can play it on the field, and gotcha. I will pass turn. Alrighty. And he's a eight thousand, right? Yes. Eight thousand power. Mm -hmm. So he is a big boy. Yep. Okay. Two. Let me pay that much. 
Okay. That's... Hmm. Okay, let's... Let's just put bodies, I think. Right? Okay. I'll pay one to play a Barret, because I already have a Avalanche Operative. And then I'll also pay one to play a Jesse. You can have two Barrets uh, out at the same time. Uh, oh, sorry. The Barret I, I had before that. was yeah. a... That's yeah. a Biggs? What is that next to it? Uh, This is a Biggs, yes. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. No, you're good. You're good. It's good to be to be sharp. Because <laughs> it's actually hilarious because the first time I played, yeah. I had like three Lagunas out and like and like two Kiros and like <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait a minute, I'm trolling. <laughs> <laughs> um do I want to back into it? I think so, right? Because I'll have lethal next turn. All right. I'll move to attack phase. Sure. And I'll swing with the clap. I'll take that. Okay. All right. So Lancer. I... Yep. Uh, that's that's all I got. I'll just pass it to you. Five in hand. Sure. Undol and draw two. Confused by this wording, um, I'll just ask you the question. You'll know what card this sure. is. Maybe <laughs> if warrior receives damage, double the damage instead. What what is the benefit of that? If warrior receives damage, double the damage uh, instead. So is is that really the exact wording? Yeah, yeah. It says so... if warrior receives damage, double the damage instead. Um, maybe I'm not. Oh, understanding. it might just be like a really cheap card then, so to give it like a drawback. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Okay. But yeah, if uh, it, it's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. If, uh, okay. If, if I block, <laughs> if I block with a seven k forward, it 14. takes fourteen k. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. I'm sure there's a good reason. I just had to connect the dots. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. So we'll, uh, pay with Magus. Get Warrior out. Gotcha. Uh. Okay. Oh. Okay. I get it. It's a. Uh, he's a eight K body for for two CP, right? Mm hmm Okay. That's probably why. Okay. That's right. Uh. If you want, you could use your backups to pay for him, so you don't have to pitch cards from your hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> um yeah, I should probably do that. Do you mind if I Yeah. No, okay. yeah. Cool. That's what that's what we're here for, right? Yeah. All right, so Magus is back to back to back in my hand. I um... I didn't even see it. I don't even know what you <laughs> Okay. Even... I have no idea. All right. Um move to combat and I will attack with Azul for eight. Gotcha. I'm ready. Uh so notes on my next turn, I'm gonna have lethal. So I'm just saying you might want to keep them up just to get some favorable blocks, maybe. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. which one? Ha they all have lethal. Uh, well, in terms of how many forwards I have on a field, you're at uh five damage, right? right. So I have to deal two damage to you in order to win. So oh, once you I thought lethal was a keyword. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I get it. Okay. Nope. You're right. I should. I should yeah. be aware of that. Okay. Cool. So I. I will pass turn. One. One card. Gotcha. In hand. Gotcha. Sounds good. So yeah, with with that eight k up, I would have to like party attack with the seven uh, k. Yeah. And that's not the worst thing in the world. Like, you're essentially just taking one damage if you 
really want it to, mm -hmm. right? And you'll you'll survive probably for the turn, and then you'll just block out these guys if needed. Right. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that's what I might do. Oh. Okay. That's what I'll do. I'll, uh... I will party attack with the Barrett and the Biggs. And I'll draw a card off of Biggs' uh, ability. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I'll take that damage. It's Esther Sh Soldier. Gotcha. So six damage is actually a really important uh, kind of a break point. Because mm -hmm. that six damage, I can basically um, affect how you block, sort of. I could basically just force you to block. Yes. Right? Yeah. So that's that's really strong in general. Okay. Um, I think I will... I can also play it safe. Okay. I'll I'll play it safe here, I think. Gonna go to main two. I'm sorry, I'm gonna move to main phase two. Okay. okay. And I'll I'll pitch four to play a Zach. Okay. And I'll pass it to you. Sounds good. So, undulling. Draw two. Alright. Um, let's do... A2 to play dragon. And I can do something right away with this. So, yes. right? No, no, something yes. sickness. So I'll use the second option. It says put dragon into the break zone, choose one forward of cost four or less, and uh, break it. Yes. So I will pay the one for the lightning, and then the mm -hmm. one from hand. Um, you could be... actually just pitch the one from hand and you could save yourself that uh that one. Oh right, you said that it could be applied like that. Okay. Yeah. So sure I'll do that. And we'll use Magus to do that. Gotcha. And then so Dragon will be now in the brick zone. And I will target uh Zach. Yes, I think Zach's the play here as well. And Let's do move to combat. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and attack with. No. Again, I no. I still have yeah, lethal. Got, yeah. Yeah. Um, Actually, that's probably gonna be game. Um, yeah, it's gonna be rough. Yeah. So nope. Pass turn. All right. Yeah, it's gonna just. Yeah, it's going to play out like, you know, I'm just going to party attack. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have to block. And then I'll attack the cloud. You'll have to block. And then I'll have Jesse free to swing in. Yeah. I don't know if it would yeah. help that I have a Oh, actually. Actually, yeah. it does. It does help. Yeah. It actually does help. It actually does help. So, so let's let's play it out. Let's sure. play it out. <laughs> okay. So I'll move to attack phase. And I'll party attack with the Biggs and Witch. Yeah. Um, I'll block with the Zul. Sounds good. So it goes to the break zone. I choose one lightning monster, cost three or less, and play it onto the field. Um, I'll do uh, a dragon. Just. And, and now because uh, something okay. went onto the stack, you could actually do it right away. Play dragon's abilities right away. Okay. Um. So actually, I just do it from hand for the second effect. 
I'll add this to the break zone, choose one forward, cost four, uh, cost four less. Yeah, I guess it'll be the uh, Jesse. Yep, works. Alrighty. And then do um, I apply the 8,000 to any of yours? I'm sorry? Azul? So Azul had 8,000 power. Do I choose yes. where that's applied? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's okay. right. You get to choose who to kill. Yeah, Um. I guess doesn't really matter um a barrett Bakes gives me card draw barrett um doesn't really do anything until unless like uh a avalanche operative forward goes into the break zone okay i think i think okay. biggs is the play here oh sure okay I'll, I'll trust you on that uh biggs then sounds good okay interesting um Let's let's put some pressure on. I think I'm gonna swing with the cloud as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, gonna block with warrior. Yeah. Just to make the field a little bit more simpler, <laughs> right? Yeah. Less moving parts. Okay. I'll move to main two. Sure. And I'll. Okay. I'll play a wedge. Uh, I do have another avalanche operative forward, so he is cost one. I'll just play another backup, and I'll pass it to you. Sounds good. Well, on doll, draw two. So at this point, you you just need a body, any yeah. body. Um. Bigger the better. Yes. Uh, we'll get a, a warrior out. Okay. Ah, uh, same um, one. Gotcha. One. Two. That's it. <laughs> oh, no. That might be game. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it's probably just going to be... Um, it, it doesn't matter, right? I swing wedge, warrior blocks, and then I mm -hmm. get to swing Barrett, right? Because warrior takes double damage. Correct. GG's. Yes, good game. Yeah. Did you did you make this deck yourself or? Yes, I did. Yeah. Gotcha. Out of um, out of Opus Four, Opus Five. Four, just a just one booster box I got. Oh, you opened the Opus Four booster box. Yeah. So these. Gotcha. I was pretty limited in what I could do for a lightning deck, and I wanted to keep okay. it just a, a mono deck for now, just okay. to see how how I like it. Um, I actually. Do have a mono lightning deck. Mono lightning right now is kind of in a rough spot, um, but it it does have uh, some strong points. It's uh, it's a little bit mid rangey, yeah, and that's why people kind of consider it um, to be kind of weak. Not weak, but like just mm -hmm. um, it's not very competitive. Uh, it, no, it, it it's competitive. It's competitive. It's yeah? just. Um, okay. The deck to beat right now is pretty aggressive, okay. and you need like answers right away. Okay, good to uh, know. which is why people are kind of um, don't give Mono Lightning the respect it deserves. Mm -hmm. uh, but I really like my the Mono Lightning deck I have right now. Um, okay. Actually, you know what? I have a lot of Opus the new Opus Bolt. Actually, you know what? I can actually just give you some of my Bolt if you want. Where do you live? Oh, you sure? Um, I'm in Jersey. You're in Jersey. I'm in New York. Oh, nice. <laughs> like actually, no, I'm. I'm. Uh, I play. Uh, do you do you play locals? Do you go to locals in in Jersey? Uh, no. I'm pretty much just staying. I have a a one year old son, so he's okay. not vaccinated yet. So I'm kind of just like pretty much Say doing no the online more. thing. Yeah. Say no more. <laughs> uh, shipping should, shouldn't be that bad then. Um, I could give you some of my bulk, actually. I've got a lot of bulk. Yeah, uh, that'd be awesome. And I ha I'm happy to pay for it too. So um, don't worry about that. No, um, just, you know what? Just pay for shipping because bulk is bulk. Don't even sweat it. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, let me know yeah. then. Um, no, just, just DM me. Just PM me your address. I'll, uh, sure. Awesome. I'll, I'll, it, it'll probably 